Whatever that is, or so that people trip on them. Certainly not me. Wait a minute. What? I swear I just saw this in the ghost's room. Well, I guess it can't be any more weird than anything else that's going on today. Well, that's good. Now I'm seeing things. And tripping. As I'm looking for a magical red garnet stone, which will apparently free my ghostly friend, and make her not be cursed into a necklace. What am I even doing? What am I even doing? This thing doesn't even exist. And apparently the only good thing I have to do with my time is look around haunted mansions looking for giant red cursed stones. Oh my gosh, Summer, are you okay? Yeah, Hannah, I'm fine. I'm so glad you're okay. Why wouldn't I be? Well, we heard something crash. Why were you so worried about me? I wasn't even gone that long. Oh, it wasn't the fact you were gone. We heard something really big crash. We thought maybe something crashed on you. I mean, I tripped. It wasn't like a bookcase falling or something. Huh, that's weird. Where's the ghost? Well, the ghost's name is Lillian, by the way, and she's right here. Um, no, she's not. What do you mean, Summer? She's right next to me. Wait a minute. Summer, where's your necklace? It's not on me. Oh, I must have dropped it or something when I fell. Summer, you can't be so clumsy. We have to find that. That's like expensive or something. That has that has Lillian stuck in it. She's cursed with these necklaces. We have to find it. Ugh, I don't see it anywhere. Neither do I. And do you see it? Lillian? Lillian? Lillian, where'd you go? Lillian, where are you? Are you sure it wasn't her making the bookcase dropping noises? Oh, she didn't do this. She was right next to me when it happened. Lillian is going to be so mad when she found out that you lost her necklace. Ugh, it wasn't my fault, Hannah. It was that little weird thing on the floor that made me fall. And seriously, it has to be here somewhere. What did you fall on? What weird thing are you talking about? Look behind you on that box, that little circular shape thing. This thing? This was in Lillian's room. I know. Something's going on that we don't know. There's bookcases falling, or whatever that noise was, and then there's that weird thing. It's like it's teleporting. Um, Summer, are you feeling okay? Well, maybe it's not teleporting, but still, it's weird. Um, Summer, what was that? I don't know. You're the one who can see ghosts. Yeah, but that wasn't Lillian. What? This is so confusing. Why, yes, very puzzling, isn't it? Lillian, stop playing tricks on us. Oh, well, how are you so sure this is Lillian? Hmm? Just stop. Oh, well, I've just begun. Summer, let's get out of here. Oh, leaving so soon. Oh, well, that's a shame. Show yourself, whoever you are. Well, 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 isn't it wonderful seeing you? Get away from her. Get away from us. How did you even get here? Are you a ghost? This house holds more secrets than you two know. Now, how about you start by telling me how you got here, hmm? How about you start by telling us who you are? Why, I have a right to know who you are since you are in my house. We don't mean any harm. We, the door is open. And how did you get that necklace? Don't touch her. Well, here's the thing. I think I have a right to touch it since it's mine. No, it's not. Well, you seem to know everything, don't you now? Someone gave it to me. It was given to you. Nothing is ever given. But it was. Lillian gave it to me. What did you just say? L Lillian? Lillian has been dead for seven years. But... She did. It's her ghost. She gave it to me. Have you seen... How have you seen her? But I've seen her. We've both seen her. She's... 
she's real. She was real once, but she's not. Once we put on this garden necklace, we could, we could see her, but you can't see her unless you have one of her birthstones. See for yourself. Luna? Oh, uh, thanks for the necklace, Lillian. Now I can see you. Ooh, Summer, I got a bracelet. Oh my gosh. Mom? This would make such a good movie. Mom, how are you here? You're... You're supposed to be dead. Well, so are you. I am dead, Mom. I'm, I'm a ghost. Why, yes, but... Mom, where have you been all this time? I haven't seen you in seven years, Mom. Where have you been? I've... I've been here for seven years, Lillian. Why haven't I seen you? You can only see me with my birthstone. Mom, I still don't understand how you're not dead. I've been roaming around this house for seven years. How have I not seen you? I wanted to be dead, Lillian. Believe me, I did. After your father killed you, I didn't know why I was alive, why I was even here. I mean, look at you, Lillian, you're dead. You were my only child, my only daughter, and I didn't even get to spend much time with you. Once you were gone, I truly realized what I had missed all these years. I hid in the basement, that's where I lived for, for three years I lived there, and then finally I just came up. I, Mom, why did you even stay here? I was trying to find that big stone. I knew you were here. But Mom, what about the prophecy, that moon child and stuff, that... Lillian, that's you. Should I say Luna? Mom, what do you mean? Luna? Honey, that's you. Your real name is Luna. I... The reason we were so absorbed in this house was because of that whole prophecy thing. It wasn't because of witches and why this house is so cheap. It was because of the moon child. That was you. When we bought this house, there was that weird prophecy. When I had you, I named you Luna. Then, when I named you Luna, everything made sense. You were the person who was going to be cursed. You're the girl. So I stayed. I had to find that stone. That stone is the only thing holding you back, Luna. When we find that stone, that's when you'll be set free. You won't be cursed into this necklace. When it said stone, I never knew that you were cursed into these necklaces. I didn't know where you were. But I knew you were in this house somewhere. I just had to find you. The reason you can't leave is because of this big stone. It's in this house. That's why you're trapped here. These necklaces were carved from that big stone. So if these necklaces are here and that stone is here, then you'll stay here. But why can't we destroy those necklaces or something? Luna, those necklaces are the only thing keeping you alive. The minute those things are destroyed, you'll be destroyed with it. But I don't understand this. If she's a ghost, nothing will kill her. She's already dead. It won't be something killing her. It will be the necklaces. The neck. Think of it like this. The necklaces are her heartbeat. The minute you destroy a heartbeat, it dies. That's the same thing with these necklaces. The minute you destroy these necklaces, the minute she dies. I'm sorry, girls, about what happened earlier. That's okay. I'm sure you're really not used to visitors. Yes, I guess that's one way of putting it. Mom, we have to figure this out. Exactly. And I think these girls are just the girls to help us. Well, what do you mean? Luna wouldn't just give the necklaces to anybody. I wouldn't? No, you wouldn't have. You must have trusted these girls. To be honest, I was kind of in a point of desperation. Exactly. And desperation will be our aid. When the sun goes down and the lights burn out Then it's time for you to shine Brighter than a shoe